Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today I think we could update our view on, the, on crude oil because on the gold market as you can see guys really anemic price action it's mostly suggests that our idea of the possible another downward continuation to the major support is correct because market actually hasn't formed any bullish patience there it's very heavy reaction on some targets that have been met in, in, on intraday charts Mostly it supports the idea to the drop to the 1260-1265 major support on the daily chart. That's why our, why our market is scoring around the same levels as yesterday. And mostly I suppose that just some kind of the expectation of the coming on firm parole release. We will take a look at the crude oil. On the crude oil, guys, on the daily chart I use the picture of the 3rd of the October because really nothing has changed significantly. The one exception that the market right now has tested the 5540 area and... Uh, starting to move up and here major idea of our trading plan was the brand by the trade so because we have the completion of the ABCD patch it's not bad thrust up and market in the three closes has reached the major FIP support that's set up for the brand body as a result we expect the possible bound, uh, bounce up to the 618 resistance of the whole move down so it's approximately 5770 area and if you will trade just one, one 10% of the normal lot of the CFD on the crude oil, you will get the potential of the 200 bucks probably. So $2 on a possible upward bounce. So um, the most interesting picture here, what we really would like to take a look at, stands on the follow time frame chart. I just show you my levels where I have taken the position here based on this trade. So recall that our major idea was waiting when the market will complete this A, B, C top 1618 target. And that indeed has happened uh, early in the morning yesterday, so maybe even in, in the night. So the spike down market has tested and touched the 1618 extension and could say that most pips to pips this target has been completed. That was my entry position. <clears throat> I usually fade a bit entry levels. I'm placing the entry uh, order slightly higher. Uh, the target and closing position slightly below the target just to get the guarantee of the feel of the trade. So uh, <clears throat> as a result, what we have right now in place. <clears throat> Actually, guys, on the on the follow time frame chart, we have some kind of the double repo buy passion because here we have thrust down. Uh, close about the 3 by 3 close below and reaching the new lows and close above again. This is some kind of the double repo buy patient. So it's not really, maybe it's not very perfect for us down. It's not really very big, but it has sufficient number of candles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candles to the downside. Some kind of the patient is forming here. Uh, that's why mostly uh, market has been done all preparation for this trade the intraday target has an agreement has been completed. Reversal patient has been formed. So now we should wait for possible bounce here. Proximal target stands at 57, 40, 49 this level, but maybe it makes sense to place order slightly low. That will be the brand body. So as you can see on crude oil, the preliminary steps that market um, has to, to has to done it's already uh, was done. So now we just need to wait for starting of the action. Any signs of the further drop here will probably erase this trade because it's not. Uh, it will be a rational action if market suddenly uh, will drop here because overall technical situation doesn't demand that because target has been met. Market and the strong support. It's no necessity for another leg down here before starting to move up. And the leg down will mean only one thing is that the brand body setup on the daily chart probably has failed and market's ready to drop further. But right now, as you can see, market stands well around this support. 
Let's keep chance on the possible upward action here.